Hey, a girl. Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know what this means. Music. Okay, so the last video um that I did was cravings, and that marks that mark this is I did uh, the most. Okay, let me blow up my finger. The most common PMS symptoms. So that video, the cravings video, marks the end of my PMS symptoms. <laughs> Yay, because that was a pain to record all of them. Um. <coughs> But now my dances are coming up yet. Anyhow, so this video, obviously, if you read the title, um, you know, it's gonna be about how to be comfortable in your own skin. Because I know that's a huge issue for everybody. I mean, not just me, because I used to have a really big issue with that. I was bored for three years. So, you know, uh, the year after that, I was very sensitive to everything. Um, I was, I was uncomfortable going to school. Um, you know, I was always thinking that people were going to judge me for what I'm wearing or the way I act, and you know, I just learned how to cope with that, and I have had so many people, like, I'm not trying to brag here, but I've had so many people tell me um, that I'm probably one of the most confident people that they've ever met, and I, you know, they're, they admire me for that because they don't know how to do it. So, I thought that I might because I made a self-confidence video, I think, and I was in my pajamas and my hair was up, because I was fuzzy. Anyhow, um, so I thought I'm going to make this video for you guys, because if you want to be comfortable in your own skin. Also, I'm going to link, when I'm done with the video, I'm going to link the uh, bingo website in the description box, so that you guys can go to the website, and they have so many amazing articles there about how to be comfortable in your own skin. And I didn't know about being girl until last year, I think, because last year is actually when I first started to become confident. So, which is odd because I've had my period for what now? Three, four, seven, six, six, seven, eight, two years. I've had it for three years. Um, actually, yeah, it'll be three years. Yeah, three years. I can't believe it. I know it's like weird to think about. Uh, I mean, we shouldn't be happy about that, but. I am really happy about it because I'm proud. I have actually learned how to do this for two years and it doesn't bug me anymore. That's why I've been making these videos for, these videos for you guys because I want you to be able to conquer your period and just go out there and live life like you live life every other day because I know a lot of people have issues with their periods. Like when I was using pads, I hated, like I dreaded having my period. And I'm just going to make another video today about, you know, how amazing it is for me to actually celebrate my womanhood. Um, when I have my period, because you know, getting your period is a monumental thing, especially for a lot of other religious, well, not religion, but um, cultures. When you get your period, and that's the mark of womanhood, and they'll actually throw you parties. Like in India, once you get your menstrual cycle, they'll throw you a party um, because it's the mark of womanhood, like I said in the previous video. So, you know, I'm able to, a lot of people dread it, but I'm able to deal with it now. And I'm able to just go out there and conquer the world and tell everybody that nothing's going to stop me. So, Again, I'm going to get back to being comfortable on your own skin. So, um, I actually found out the other day because I have this app on my phone. Um, my buddy, my buddy, my best friend out here, just kidding. Um, but it is weird, anyhow. Uh, so I, <laughs> I have this app on my phone called Brain Pop. I'll show you guys. I'm not going to, um, actually use it because we watched this video and it's over fast and then I take this quiz and I like it no. So it's in my education folder. See brain pop right there. Yep. Um so yeah. So I was watching one of the videos. It's called um I don't remember. I think it was wake or DC or something. I don't remember. And I learned this in class this year, like, I have learned so much stuff for myself, and I'm going to be sad because my semester, my new semester starts tomorrow, so I don't have class anymore, I have gym, so I have learned so much in that class, and, um, one of the things that I treasure learning was, well, here, let me get back to the video, so I was watching my video on my phone, this is like a quiz, and I found out that there's three different body types. So there's a body type called um exo for exo exo forming exo dermal something like that um and it's where your skeleton your skeletal system is actually smaller and your 
top. One top that shoulders aren't as broad as the other two um, uh, body types. And so, um, and you tend to have less muscle. Not that that's a bad thing because you can always, you know, I mean, you still have muscle. It's not like you're thick. But it's just actually a type where you tend to be taller and you have less broad shoulders and hips. So that's why some people, they say they eat a bunch, but they don't gain any, gain any weight. Part of it is because they have an amazing immune system, immune system, the digestive tract. And the other part of it is because of their skeleton uh, and the way that their body is built, they just, their body doesn't allow them to gain fat. And don't feel bad if you don't have this body type. I don't have the body type, but I try to read my body and I love the way that I look because, you know, I mean, sometimes I get down on myself because I think I'm fat, but, you know, I just don't have the talk every now and then, even if you're skinny or thick. But I treasure my body and I'm working to get it a little bit more in shape because I am a little out of shape, but I think that's because I haven't been gym for a while. And I really shouldn't be making that an excuse. But um, I'm pretty comfortable in my own skin. I, I've learned to love the way that I look and to just embrace myself and to dress properly. That's a big part of um, embracing the way you look. And also, if you dress properly, it tends to make you look skinny. Like, let's, oh, I have to see other two about it. Anyhow, so, um, so one of the other two body types, the other one, I think it's like endo, endo, I don't really remember them, but, um, the other body type is you're tall, which the, the body type that I'm explaining right now is the one that I am. If you want, I'll send that to you guys. Well, I don't know. Anyway, it's actually the body type that I am. I am tall. I am fairly tall. I'm like 5'9". 5'9". I don't care if you know. 5'8", 5'9". So I'm fairly tall, and I'm only 13. Yeah. And I'm still growing. There's the world. Anyhow. So, um, and we tend to have broader shoulders and broader hips. And... That's okay. That just gives you room for more butt. <laughs> just kidding, but that's what I feel like anyway. I mean, I have broader muscles also. I tend to have, like, my thighs are a little bit bigger, but they're all muscle. None of it's fat. It's like muscle. And taller people tend to have bigger thighs because they need more muscle to hold up their skeleton because they're very tall. Um, and that's not a bad thing. That's cool. I like being tall. <laughs> And I still wear heels. I'm like, what the heck with that? I'm going to wear heels if I want to wear heels. So, I mean, I, I don't get like giant pillows because I can't wear pillows because I'm not in the gym and can't be tall. But anyway, so that's the second body type. And the third body type, which is the third body type, um, you have the broadest shoulders and the broadest hips, and they're a little bit shorter than the other two. I don't really remember exactly what it's called, but you can Google it. Um, so, um, you know, and you do tend to have a little bit more muscle. Uh, but because you're shorter, it does make you look a little bit, not fatter, but it makes you look a little bit wider. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that at all, you know? It's just, I hate how people are, um, because, you know, sometimes it's not your fault that you have more muscle, it's a genetic factor. It's not like you chose, oh yeah, I'm going to have more muscle in certain places, so I guess to other people it's going to make me look fat. It's not like you chose that, it's just your genetic combination with your X and Y chromosome. Um, that's just how you're built. There's not much you can do about it. I mean, you know, it's just, and I hate, there's just not much you can do about it. Um, but I learned that being healthy to you, I mean, there's a certain point where you actually do become overweight, um, but that's like kind of an extreme case, I guess you could say, because you are healthy as long as you're happy in your body. So, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's just like, you need to be happy in your own body and in your own skin and not think about others and be like, oh yeah, I want their body. I hate mine because it has big, I have broader hips and broader shoulders, so I'm ugly. No, that's not it at all. Um, at, at all. Like, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. You need to learn how to be happy in your own skin. And a big part of that is dressing yourself right. Um, my aunt, she's one of the last body type and she has uh, broader shoulders and broader hips. And that's because half of her family is German. So um, that kind of just runs in their DNA. So if she doesn't dress herself well. I'm not, not judging her because, you know, she's happy the way that she dresses. 
And that's okay, because as long as they're happy, you shouldn't be worried about what other people think. But a big part of it is like, okay, let's say that you have, you're supposed to be wearing a size extra large, okay? And there's nothing wrong with being an extra large, because sometimes it's just because you have bigger breasts, so they get in the way, so it's just to be an extra large. With this shirt, I think it's two cramps. So I'm going to warn you now, two cramps, and I think it's an extra extra large, because one, my sizes are different over there, and two, um, my breasts tend to be a little bigger, so it kind of gets in the way, and it hurts the button. I feel the button too. So, you know, I kind of have to get a little bit bigger. Um, so, anyhow, you know, you gotta dress yourself up. So, let's say you're supposed to be wearing an extra large and you get an extra small. Well, I know I'm gonna be getting an extra small. It's fine. I'll move it, okay? And it just helps you in all the wrong spots and you don't feel happy in it, but you really like that style of shirt. Don't buy it. Find another shirt that's that style or just go up a few sizes. Don't be ashamed of your size. Your size doesn't define who you are. Your personality does. And more people should learn that because there are really annoying people who think that because you're not an extra small, you're not beautiful. Well, you know what? Suck it up and grow up because that is so, like, stupid. Because models, most of the time, they some of them are actually mediums, and they actually consider mediums overweight. But what they do is they Photoshop them to make them look skinnier, and they shoot them at certain angles to make them look skinnier. And I know because my dad is a So, um, you know, there's, it's just, just learn to be happy with yourself and be happy in your own skin. Every day, look in that mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful and you're just going to feel so much better about yourself. Like, it's so hard for me to describe how hard it was for me. Sixth grade, the year after I was bullied, um, it was so hard for me to walk out that door thinking and knowing that everybody was going to judge me, but they really didn't. A lot of people wanted to love me for who I was. Um, I don't know why I was bullied, to be honest. Um, I never found out why. Uh, but now, I am just so confident. Like, I walk out that door and I don't give a damn what other people are going to think about me. I'm just like, forget it. I'm not dressing, sorry, I'm not dressing for anybody, I'm dressing for myself. Like, there's, I don't need to be worried about everybody else. I'm dressing for myself and nobody else. So I hope that this video helps you guys. Um, so, have a fantastic day and please use my tips. I know they're going to help you so much. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!